Hello, my name is Alan Otaro. I am the Executive Director of the Catholic Youth Network for Environmental Sustainability in Africa, or SINESA. Uh, today, we are coming to the end of our one-week summit that brought together 20 young participants from six different countries to discuss and charter a shared vision for the work of our network. Every morning, we began our days with meditations, and these meditations uh, were video meditations um, with text and graphics and background music. The meditations we used were inspired by a book written by an American Jesuit, Father Al Fritsch, and his book is called Healing Earth, Our Common Blessing. The meditations invited us to reflect on the three earth commons, water, land, and air, and how our sacramental life invites us to take care or to nurture this common, um, this earth commons. Our baptism calls us to heal the water that we drink, while the Eucharist calls us to heal the land that feeds us, while our confirmation calls us to heal the air we breathe. There are seven meditations on these um, video reflections, and we took one meditation each for each morning. We began with a meditation on Earth Commons, our common blessing, and this meditation invited all of us to reflect on water, land, and air as our shared resource, and how we fail to take care of it or the impacts that our activities as human beings have on them. The second was blessing our wounded earth. This was the meditation for the first morning, and it invited us to reflect on the different ways or the different things that have wounded the earth on which we live. The third meditation was healing the healers. We've gathered together as young people, as young Catholics, but we see ourselves as being involved in the healing process of the earth. But we have to ourselves be healed before we can offer healing to the earth. And so this meditation invited us to reflect on how we can be healed before we set out to heal the earth. Healing the water we drink was a meditation for the third day. This meditation therefore invited us to reflect on our baptism and how it invites us um, to heal the water that feeds our different lives and our different um, activities. Healing the air we breathe, as I mentioned earlier, our confirmation invites us to heal the air that we breathe. We know that in many cities and towns, the air is polluted and this causes many respiratory challenges and diseases. Healing the land that feeds us has been the meditation for this morning, helping us or inviting us to reflect on the Eucharist as an invitation to us in our sacramental life to take care of the land that produces the wine and the wheat, um, which is then transformed into the body and blood of Christ. We will complete this evening with the meditation on blessing a new creation, which will summarize all the seven meditations that we've had um, during the course of the week. And these will help us to bring to a conclusion and to a close our summit, but also it will send us off, it will send us on mission, it will inspire us, it will give us the energy to go and transform our communities when the participants return to their countries, to their cities and towns, and as we continue our work in the next uh, three years, uh, which we have planned for. Thank you.